hey there there are great tools available in the market to release the tension from the muscles we athletes generally have or people who work out regularly they run bike swim whatever sport you play there are lots of tools available in the market with which you can release the tension in your muscles and get some relief from that soreness or prolonged pains and aches but recently i posted a video about flexibility in which you need to hold the stretches for more than 30 seconds up to 3 minutes i generally practice these five stretches four to five stretches uh, on regular basis uh, as part of my rehab prehab or recovery protocol i suggest my trainees and my followers and friends who want to improve their flexibility to really focus on these four stretches what i am demonstrating today and try to hold these stretches for two to three times uh, 30 second plus i generally recommend one and a half to two minutes minimum to improve your flexibility but at least 30 seconds two repetitions is a must to achieve greater range of motion in these uh, muscles joints uh, to improve the flexibility around your hip which is highly responsible for pains and aches in your knee and your lower back so let's start with the basic adductor stretch inner thighs i'll set my watch to a 60 second mark to make it short and crisp so every stretch you need to reach down to approximately 70 to 80 percent of the intensity that means 100 will be like all out stretch which is like painful we need to stay close to 70 to 80 percent which is fairly strong stretch and you can feel that stiffness going away gradually from the stretched muscle let's start with the adductors you will sit legs wide on the ground fingers pointing at the back open up your chest wide lift your hips just about uh, a centimeter off the ground and push it forward further to stretch out your legs your toes should be pointing up towards the ceiling once you get to a position which is about 70 to 80 percent of the stretch in your inner thighs just stay there and hold it idea is to take deep diaphragmatic breaths down to your belly button long deep inhalations with your nose and exhalations from your mouth that will relax your, your nervous system and let the muscles stretch nicely try to keep your fingers pointing back with a good tall posture this is about 60 second stretch for your inner thigh you can also count the number of repetitions of breaths you are doing about 10 deep breaths will be around 60 seconds three four once you feel that stretch has reduced you can gently push it even further this happens after 20 seconds so once you are good into the stretch try to push it slightly more if the stretch has reduced it's, it actually means your muscles have adjusted to the amount of pressure you are putting stretching those joints so keep the intensity at about 80 percent in your inner thighs take deeper breaths relax calm mind deep breaths and this is 60 second stretch one you do it at least twice 60 to 90 seconds is good to start with you can take it up to three minutes second one we are doing is a quadricep stretch sit into kneeling position take your heels out slightly keep your knees as close as possible this opens up the front of your hip try to lean back on your hands if possible so these are different levels which level you are on totally depends on you if this is hard just stay here spend some time here and slowly go back on your hands once this is comfortable you can go back on the elbows so find out your comfortable position the stretch on your thighs should be about 70 to 80 percent if you are okay going even deeper try to reach back shoulder blades on the ground and hold this position for good 60 seconds deeper breath inhale from your nose exhale from your mouth try to be relaxed into stretch position
that's about 60 seconds you press your elbows into the ground and slowly get out of the stretch if you wish you can call someone for help if you are stuck there that happens so many times when you are very tight you just can't come out of that stretch so relax a bit into child pose sit back and stretch your arms in front this is to relieve the pressure from the lower back if you have really stiff back Try to regress and just start with the kneeling position. Just this one is good enough. Okay, next one, we go for the hamstrings, back of your thigh. Both legs straight. <clears throat> Take a long deep breath in. And reach out for your toes. Even if you can't, just take your arms at front and try to grab your toes or reach in line with your toes. Keep your elbows slightly bent. Chin goes on the chest. You really exhale and reach forward once you are at about 70 to 80 percent of the stretch you can breathe and start the timer for 60 seconds if the stretch becomes comfortable you reach forward even more slowly return back after 60 seconds so this was number three number four is your hip so you need to go back to a stable surface a wall a mirror or door everything works you sit into a comfortable position let me push this slightly away so sit back into a comfortable position one leg goes straight other leg goes cross this might be very very tight for many try to bend the base knee take that heel on the ground if this is hard enough just stay here gently try to push this knee away the stretch intensity on the hip should be about seven to eight if this is comfortable you pull this leg even more try to distribute your body weight equally on both hips keeping your shoulder blades back on the wall and gently push this knee away you'll get a very good deep stretch in your right hip now we start the timer for 60 seconds just push that knee away breathe deeper That's 60 seconds. We'll switch over to the other side. This is one leg at a time, so we stretch both sides. So one leg straight, left leg, left leg goes up on the right thigh. Gently bend that knee. So you can experience one side is stiffer than other. That's also normal. You just spend more time on the tight side or do one more repetition extra. As I always say, the stiffer side need one more repetition of your flexibility drill. So this is 60 seconds at the intensity of 7 to 8, pushing that left knee slightly away with my elbow, breathing deeper, inhale from your nose and exhale from your mouth.
at 60 seconds. So this is a five minute stretch drill. So four stretches we did. Last one is for one minute on each side. That makes it five minute drill. You do it twice. That makes 10 minutes. Every single day, you feel that your hips are really opening up. You feel less stress in your low back, less pain in your knees and more mobile core. So everything here works well if your hips are working well. Consistency is the key. If you don't do it for like three days, you will lose it all. So try to do it every single day. I know there are millions of stretches, millions of videos, 30 second videos, quick fixes don't work. So you need to be consistently practicing few stretches regularly to improve your hip mobility and flexibility. Hope this helps.